Do I go down there again? Maybe I can pick up that stupid rock now? This is the worst idea ever. And the sad thing is he really doesn't realize it. Let's save again! Say I'm scared of that room. Can we go and pick up that thing? And the prize is... a doorknob. Oh no... You don't want that doorknob. That is not a doorknob that you want. Do I use it on this door? That doesn't work. No, it's for the other door. This one through here. Um. Oh man, that's the door to, to where all the creepy stuff is though. How did that bar get added? Ugh. I wonder if this kitchen was ever tidy. Um... Why did they tear out the cellar door? Oh, maybe the, the creature did. Yeah, it looks like... It looks like he tore out the cellar door and the secret room door. It's not very good. My goodness, they didn't even spare the forks. Can we this go back door there? is severely damaged. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest beyond it, so I won't bother. How would you know? Did you go back there? Hey, come to think of it, I was never able to open the oven. Okay, do we go out to It's the... impossible to go this way. The door is rusted shut. Apparently the answer is no. We go into the cellar. Wonderful. That's exactly where I wanted to go. Not. <laughs> I still... I still am worried about that dark bathroom. The atmosphere is almost unbearable down here in the basement. The walls are dripping with moisture. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. I worry for you, sir. He doesn't want to open the fuse box. What's that? What was that? Some cleaning fluid. Why do we need cleaning fluid? Oh, maybe... Oh, I need to clean off that muddy window, don't I? Then I need, like, a rag of some kind. There we go. Can I open the furnace? It's a huge furnace. Which still doesn't seem quite large enough to heat the whole house. It's a huge furnace. Yeah, okay. Which still doesn't seem quite large enough to heat the whole house. It has other purposes. Believe me. Oh man, I guess we have all the things that we need to clean the mud off of the window. Although I can't say I want to. Because I'm worried about what might be back there. I'm actually really dreading it. Oh 
I'm going to save again. Save again. I'm scared. I'm actually really scared. Okay. To the bathroom we go. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. Scared of the darkness there. There's something back there. I can't tell what it is, but um, through I the water. I don't see the point in doing that. Okay, put the cleaning fluid. That first. doesn't work. Use the rag. The rag alone isn't enough to clean the window. Put the. There we go. Now wet it. Jeez, you baby. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna turn around slowly. No, first we're gonna save. Then we're gonna turn around slowly. Okay. Turning slowly. Anytime you bring light into a situation in this game, bad things happen. Okay, that was a mirror back there. Man, my heart is pounding. What's this? Oh no. Oh no. I can't tell exactly why, but I don't like this mask one bit. You are very, uh, perceptive. Something bad is going to happen in just a second. I know it. I know it. I know it, and I'm going to save again because I'm terrified now. Mr. Unnamed Reporter, I hope you valued your life while you had it. What do we do now? What? What? Why? What does it want from me? Why is it playing the creepy music? Can I leave? I don't think I'm supposed to leave, am I? Can I though? No. I can't interact with this car at all. I'm supposed to go back and check on the mask again, aren't I? Oh, I so don't want to. It's gonna do something scary. My heart is pounding. <laughs> Why does this have to keep happening? This game is relentless. Here we go. I 
Is it still back there? Did it move? The thing is drawn more than it was before. Saving! I know it's like five screens since the last time I saved, but... Okay. I'm bracing myself. Here we go. Oh man, it's being all dramatic about it too. Oh no. Where did the mask go? Faster! <laughs> Woohoo for slow motion oh. running. Oh, did he fall? He fell, didn't he? Who are you? What are you doing here? Can't you see this place is dangerous? Robin? Please forgive me. I had to see you before I returned to my dying bed. What? Who is that? Well, I'm glad to hear that my prediction was correct. I was thinking about it last night, and I thought that that might have been their son, because, um... As I hurriedly left Blackwood Manor, I tried putting together what I just experienced, to no avail. I was in shock and couldn't think clearly, and it took many days until I was ready to pass judgment on what I'd seen. The Blackwood estate has now been demolished, and I have arrived at a conclusion. It is clear that the Blackwood family, with the help of this Dr. Milton, kept their son hidden from the public as he was suffering from severe malformations. It is unclear whether he was truly dangerous or the Blackwoods were simply psychotic. Quite possibly one thing led to another. And this situation ended with the death of Catherine Blackwood. We can finally give some closure to this sad episode in the peaceful town of Rothbury. And yet, there's something I can't quite explain. Uh, a missing link, something that just doesn't fit. We may never know what the real heart of the mystery is. The mask. But for the time being, <gasps> this will have to do. It lived. It's still there. Get rid of it. No, burn it. Anyway, yeah, I was thinking about it last night, and I was fairly certain that it had to be the kid, because we never actually looked in the kid's coffin, so we weren't- we didn't confirm that he was dead. And then in the- in the journal entries, it, it never said that the kid died, just that something happened to him. And there was that teddy bear down there, and that would explain why Catherine was down there. And, yeah. There's like so many different pieces that I thought about that it all made sense. Man. That was a less scary ending than the actual game, I have to say. But that build up, whoo, and the mask is still there. Oh no. Please somebody burn that mask. Just burn it, burn it, throw it in a fire, hit it with a hammer, whatever. Make it go away. I also like that there's a special thanks to our girlfriends. It's very classy, guys. Whew. Well, 
Now at least the mystery is partially solved. We still don't know if the mask is actually evil. I wonder. <laughs> well, um, in any case, I guess that's, that's all that there is for scratches. So, uh, yeah, I had fun with this, even if it did scare me so badly that I don't even know how to put it into words. <laughs> but, but yeah, it was, this was an adventure for sure. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed recording it, um, which is saying quite a lot, even though it did scare me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's it. So, goodbye, everybody.